So I'm here with Will Shorts, the crossword puzzle editor at the New York Times, and you're presenting a webby tonight to Merriam-Webster. How does it feel to be here tonight? It is such a kick. I have never been on a red carpet before. So cool. Glad we could be your first time then. That's awesome. Um, so publishing has gone through a lot of changes as a result of the internet. How has that affected crossword puzzles specifically? has changed it uh, so in so many ways. First of all, there's over 280,000 people have now subscribed to the New York Times crossword. And even if you get the puzzle in print, even if you subscribe to the newspaper online, you still have to pay separately for the crossword. Oh, wow. OK, interesting. So it's, yeah, there you go. There you go. Um, so how do you choose which words to put in your puzzles? Well, the puzzles are made by freelancers all across the country. So they make the puzzles, they send them to me. My job is to select my favorite puzzles and edit them for publication. Do you ever switch them out? Switch out words, I mean? I sometimes revise corners of the grid to make get rid of those, you know, a river in Romania <laughs> or some name you've never heard of to try to make it good quality vocabulary. Awesome. And does a dictionary like Merriam-Webster, I, I imagine that's a really important thing for a crossword puzzle maker to have. Is that true? I am surrounded by dictionaries, Merriam-Webster and every dictionary you can name. I have on my desk and, of course, everything that's online. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here tonight. Enjoy the show. Thanks a lot.